Hey, this is Colin from MississaugaGuitarLesson.com. Today we're going to be going over Anyway by Noah Kahn. Starting off with the intro of the song, I'm going to go over the first chord and then how to do the finger picking pattern that we're going to be using basically throughout the rest of the track. What we want to do is put one finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string and then one finger on the eighth fret of the second string. And then the way that we're going to pick that is we're going to start with our thumb on the fifth string, then our index to the third string, then our middle finger to the second string, and we're going to kind of keep these three fingers on these three strings basically through the whole thing. So we go up the three strings one time, a second time, and then we just go up just the fifth, then third at the end there. So we got that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two pattern, and we're going to kind of keep continuing that. We switch chords through the rest of it. So we're starting off on that chord that I showed you. We do that pattern one time on that, then we slide over to the second fret and third frets, do the pattern again, and then we slide up to the first finger going to the third fret, but we're going to slide our pinky a little bit higher up to the fifth fret, and then do the pattern one time there as well. So those three chords in a row, you got... Alright, and then we have this interesting lead lick, which goes... The way that we want to do that is starting on the 2nd string 5th fret, we pull off to the 3rd fret on that string, and then pull off to the open on that string. And then we go over to the third string, hit the fourth fret, slide down to the second fret, and then pull off to the open as well. And then we go to the fourth string, second fret on the fourth string, pulling off to open. So all together. And that's the little lead part that goes there. So doing that from the beginning, we're starting on the seventh fret. Going down to 2, up to 3 and 5, then the pull off, slide, pull off, pull off. And then that's the first two bars of the song. Now the second half of the intro is completely different. We're going to move back from this position back to the 7th fret position. We're going to do this by sliding into the 7th fret on the 5th string. We just do a slide into that note, and then we do our regular picking pattern from there, going up the three strings, but this time leaving the second string open the first time, and then we go up the three strings again, but this time adding another finger to the seventh fret of the second string. So you're going open to the seventh fret, and then we just do the two strings from it, so thumb index. So. Sixth fret on the fifth string, we're going up the same way. We go up first with the open second string, and then we now this time we're going to add a finger to the eighth fret of the second string. So open, eight, and then just the two strings, fifth, third. So so doing those two in a row, we start by sliding into seven down to 6. The next thing that we're going to do is slide our chord down a fret to the 5th and 7th frets. We start by picking this the same way by going up the 3 strings, and then we extend our pinky finger up a fret, and then we go up the 3 strings again. Now this one has kind of a weird slide into the next chord, so once we hit that top note, we're sliding down our pinky finger to the 5th fret, we hit the open 3rd string, and then we're going to end up on the 3rd fret of the 5th string. So it's kind of the same chord shape we were doing over here, just sliding down over here. So you're going... And that's how we end up in, in that chord there. And then once we reach that 3rd fret chord, we just do that same... 
finger picking sequence that we've been doing through the whole thing. Except when we're on this last chord, we go uh, through the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then an additional one, two, three, and then we're gonna slide our chord back up two frets to five and seven again for one, two, three, one, two. So that last one goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that's how we finalize that first part there. So looking at just that whole second half, we start by sliding into seven, down to six, down to five and seven, slide into three and five, out for a little extra time, then slide back to five and seven to finish her off. And then that's the second part of the intro. So if we're doing the full intro from the top, you start on seven and eight, down to two and three, Three and five. That little sequence there, sliding back to the seventh fret, sixth fret, third fret, and then that's that whole part. As we go over the rest of the song, we're going to be seeing the same kinds of chords that we did in the intro, where you have one finger on the fifth string and one finger on the second string, and we just sort of slide around on the neck while doing that finger picking pattern. These kinds of chords are referred to as thirds, and there's really two options that we can see with our thirds. We have one where the two frets that you're holding are adjacent to each other, so like the seventh and eighth frets, and then one where they're a little bit more separated with a fret between the two of them, like the seventh and ninth fret. So uh, the one that's a little bit closer together is referred to as a minor third, and then the one that's a little bit more spread to apart is referred to as a major third. So minor close together, major spread apart. Try to remember that because it'll just be a little bit easier to address them as we go through it that way. So when we go over the verse of the song, we're gonna be starting with that minor third on the seventh fret like we did at the beginning. We're gonna do that regular finger picking pattern off of that one. Then sliding to the second fret minor chord. Then to a major chord on the third fret. Now once we've done our regular finger picking pattern on that one, it's going to change uh, our fingering pattern. So what we're going to do is now thumb, index, middle, index, which is a little different. So or fifth string, third string, second string, third string. We do it once like that, and then we move up to a major on the fifth fret. So we've got that only comes after we've done it on that third fret chord with the regular finger picking pattern. So you first do the regular one, so where you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then we go to a different one. So all together you got. Okay, so we're going, if we're going over the full verse, we've got the seventh fret minor, 2nd fret minor, 3rd fret major, change up, 5th fret. And then that's the verse and that repeats a couple times like that. Then when we go to the pre-chorus of the song, we're going to slide all the way up to a major shape on the 10th fret and do our regular pattern there. Slide down to a minor on the 7, then a major on the 3rd it's the same way we ended the verses where we do our regular pattern the once then we do our altered pattern then slide to a major on the fifth with our altered pattern so that's the tenth fret major seventh fret minor third fret major altered fifth fret major all right and that's the first part of the pre-chorus now our second part of the pre-chorus starts again with the tenth fret major 
and now this time it slides up to the 12th fret and does a minor shape on that. And then we slide back to that third fret again. Uh, now in that second half, uh, some of the times it's going to end the way it did the first time. And then sometimes he just does the regular pattern once. And then just to transition to the next part, we go to just the third fret by itself and just the fifth fret by itself just to change over into the next part. The next bit of this is the chorus of the song, and this is when we're going to change our strumming pattern from being finger-picked uh, to more of a straight strum, but it's still the same chords that we've been doing, those major and minor shapes sliding on the same set of strings. We want to do a very, very light strum on this. It's a soft song, uh, but he does a bit of an accent on what I'd consider like the, the two and four beats. So if you're going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a just want to get that kind of feel so we're hitting a little harder on those beats to just sort of bring it out a little bit more uh, but then again we're just really sliding around with those same chord styles so what we're doing is we're starting on the seventh fret minor shape sliding up to the tenth fret major shape down to the third fret major shape then back up to the tenth fret major shape sliding up to the 12th fret minor shape. That last little slide up kind of switches on an off beat where we do five strums on the 10 and three strums on the 12 rather than being even like the rest of them. So you're going three E and four E and and that's kind of how we finish that off. Uh, so that's the first section of the chorus. It's gonna repeat on itself. So let's just go over that again. So you got seven, 10, three, 12 at the end there. So we do that two times. Then we're going to switch to the second part of the chorus that starts with a third fret major chord, switches to a seventh fret minor chord, then a fifth fret major chord, except the timing on this one's a bit different. We're going to do three beats on the fifth fret and then slide up to the tenth fret for the last beat. So you're going one and two and three and four. And that's how we want to do that last part there. So all together you've got the third, to the seven, to the five. And then the last part of the chorus starts the same way with the third fret, going to the seventh fret, but then we go to the fifth fret one and we stay there for a full bar. One and two and three and four. And then we end third fret one and then we just do a strum and a hold on that and then eventually we hit the second fret which he does a real slow slide on to go back in on the intro so if we were to play through that whole chorus from the beginning with all the strums you've got the seventh fret to the tenth fret to the third fret to the tenth to the twelfth to the seventh fret From there, he goes over various repetitions of parts we've already covered. I'm not going to go over that in too much detail, but it is all included in the tab that you can download from the description below. The only other unique part in the song is what's going on in the bridge. In this, we're going to be using the same style chords, uh, but we're just going to be doing the picking a little bit differently. We just want to pluck the two notes that we're holding simultaneously with our thumb and index finger, and then just move through the same chord shapes like that. So we're going to start off with a major shape on the third fret, a major th shape on the fifth fret, and a minor shape on the seventh fret. Then we go down to a minor on the second fret, and what we want to do is a slide from the second fret minor 
to the third fret major. So you just pluck the first one, slide to that second one, and then we go back to the fifth fret. So you go three, five, seven, two, slide, five. When that riff first comes in, the rhythm's a little bit different with the first three chords doing a straight quarter note feel. Then every other time it comes back, we're going to be holding that first chord just a little bit longer and then doing the second chord a little quicker. So it's just sort of a tiny detail, but that second rhythm it continues more often and that repeats a bunch of times in a row and that finishes off that section. After that, he goes back for one more chorus and that finishes off the song. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe or leave a comment below. If you'd be interested in taking lessons with me, I am available for one-on-one -on -one Skype classes. To get in touch with me, you can visit my website listed in the description below, where I'll also be leaving a link to the tab to the song we just went over. Take care!